Rumor, next PlayStation event could be a state of play, not a showcase. PlayStation fans may be disappointed as the May event could be a state of play, not a full showcase as initially rumored. Yeah, we were kind of expecting a full showcase because they're supposed to announce new hardware like a PlayStation 5 Pro, which is supposedly releasing by the end of this year. And so if it's just like a state of play, then it's just smaller updates to games and stuff, which would be a little underwhelming. Um, not a little, it would be really underwhelming, especially because PlayStation has like nothing else this year. They have maybe a trailer for Ghost of Tsushima 2, but that's it. We know it's not releasing before the end of March next year. So there's just nothing other than that. And so we were kind of hoping that they'd have some big hardware, uh, announcements or something to show, but apparently it, it's the potential that it's just going to be a small little showcase. The exact date for Sony's next presentation is uncertain, leaving gamers in the dark about upcoming first party game reveals. Though a May event has been heavily suggested, the month is almost over, so it would have to happen any day now. Despite the potential lack of a big showcase, Sony may still have exciting announcements for fans at state of play. Credible insider Nate the Hate has suggested that the heavily rumored PlayStation event scheduled for May of 24 could be a state of play and not a full showcase. If this is the case, then Sony's next showing might end up being disappointment, a disappointment for PlayStation fans that are expecting a massive blowout of first party game reveals from many studios under the platform holder. Yeah, yeah, it would be a bummer. It would honestly be a bummer. I see you guys in chat are like, well, maybe Spider-Man 3, maybe we get Wolverine, like a trailer for that. Maybe we get, you know, Ghost of Tsushima 2 or whatever Naughty Dog's working on. But here's the deal, like, the i believe it was was it the ceo or cfo it was a head honcho at sony he said they do not have any large tentpole releases for the rest of this fiscal year so we know that even if they announce that stuff it's not coming till mid to late next year at the earliest so even if they have like a trailer for something it doesn't mean that it's immediately exciting and with the industry as it is it's probably still going to get delayed. So it's like, oh, they announced Ghost of Tsushima for summer of next year. Then it's going to get delayed till the winter. Like, that's just how the, the cookies crumbled recently. But at least there would be something. At least there'd be an announcement or, or something. But the fact that there's the potential that insiders are saying it could be a state of play, not even a full showcase, that to me suggests they probably are not showing hardware, which would be very disappointing. I don't know if that means they're delaying the hardware till next year at some point when they can release it alongside a first party game. Maybe that's what they're doing. Or maybe they're going to have a separate event later in the summer where they're actually going to showcase the hardware in full. Maybe that's what they're doing. I don't know. I just would think that they'd want to have something out there during the summer of announcements and, and everything because a lot of stuff's about to get revealed and exposed in a fun way like this summer is going to be pretty we're, we're going to get pretty swarmed with stuff i feel you know we already know the stuff that's confirmed is like we're getting dragon age at some point this year so that's going to be revealed almost certainly this summer we're getting ac shadows we're getting star wars outlaws which are each going to have big reveals and gameplay and all that stuff we're going to get um probably looks at games like I think it's rumored, but it's pretty likely we get something on like the Horizon multiplayer game, Concord almost certainly. Like there's there's a lot that's supposedly coming in the next few weeks. Uh, probably a new Gears of War and a new Doom are being announced, the Indiana Jones game, a DLC for Starfield. Like there's a lot of stuff that's supposed to come. And I would think that PlayStation would wanna have something out there during the time when all of that's happening, but maybe they're just like, nope, we're just gonna sit out and then come along in August and dominate the discussion there. Maybe that's their strategy. I don't know. It's a little underwhelming though, uh, personally. It could also be that this event for May is literally just going to be looking at Concord. And if you don't know Concord, we talked about it a little bit on Friday, but it's the new game that is coming from, what's the name of the studio? Firewalk. So Firewalk is a, a studio that PlayStation acquired and it's basically a smaller team creating worlds that ignite imagination and connection takes a collaborative team of top tier creators at fireworks studios we aim to deliver awesome gaming entertainment rooted in strong gameplay and inspiring art that captures the joy of playing together that probably could be applied to literally any game studio that would say the same thing so it doesn't really mean much of anything um that being said they've claimed 
that it is going to be uh, bringing together of peoples. It's the power of games to build connection and inspire social play. The Firewalk team is driven by the type of exciting, unexpected moments and shared experiences that multiplayer games create. Every time you log on, it's the beginning of a new adventure and every match is an opportunity for a new story. It's these ideas or ideals that define Concord. It's universe or unique universe of vibrant colors and rich cast of colorful characters. I don't know what any of that means. And that's why they're going to do a reveal. But this is their next big live service game that Jim Ryan was pushing for. And it's the only thing that we pretty much know is being shown by PlayStation in the next couple of months. And so if like there is no actual event, there's no showcase, and it's just a state of play for Concord, I think people are going to be pretty riled up and upset. Unless it looks amazing, people are going to be like, are you kidding me? This is all we've got? Another live service reveal? Seriously, I think people are going to be quite upset. I'm getting the feeling, especially now that leakers are starting to walk back the scope of the event, I'm getting the feeling that this is just going to be like a 20 minute showcase covering Concord and that's it. It's just going to be a look at Concord and it's going to be like, look, it's a live service multiplayer game. That's probably fine, but that, I mean, you need better than fine to be uh, successful in the live service space. So we'll see what it actually looks like. I don't think anybody really knows because all the descriptions are super vague. Like it brings together people and it builds connections and inspires social play. Okay. Tic Tac Toe can do that too. Like, I don't, I, I just don't know what the, the hook is here, but we're going to find out, but I'm getting the feeling that this is probably just going to be a, a big show for that. Um, responded to a fan asking about PlayStation's rumored showcase in May, the leaker Nate the Hate shared his thoughts on a post uh, in a post on Twitter, alleging that Sony's May event is still on track. However, he added that he expects it to be a state of play earlier next week instead of a traditional summer traditional summer showcase. The claims of some type of PlayStation event in May fall in line with recent reports made by fellow insider Jeff Grubb, who stated on several occasions that Sony's next presentation would happen within this month. No rumor up to this point, however, had suggested that it wouldn't be a showcase. And Nate just says Sony's May event is still on track, but I expect it to be a state of play. Given the fact that little is officially known about their first party roadmap, the potential lack of a proper showcase may come as a surprise to many fans of the brand. After all, gamers have still been left in the dark on what developers like Naughty Dog, Bluepoint, Bend, Media Molecule, House Marquise, and Sucker Punch are making. Although the previous state of play in January of 24 was well received, if the next PlayStation event is nothing more than that and isn't a showcase, then fans may not get updates on what the majority of Sony studios are working on, which will probably disappoint many, which I, I mean, absolutely, I think is the case. I think part of it is that there's been a general consensus in the industry that they don't like revealing stuff so far in advance. If you go back to the announcement, I talked about this in the Neil Druckmann video we did on the main channel, but the announcement for The Last of Us 2, for example, that announcement was E3 of 2016 or not E3. It was December. It was PlayStation experience. Yeah. So it was December of 2016. That's crazy. 2016. The game came out four years later, technically three and a half if we're being pedantic, but that's wild. Like they really took a lot of time for it. And I don't think that they want to do anything like that again. So now they are trying to announce it much closer to the release date. And I think that's a better strategy because you look at some of these other companies and like, for example, the Elder Scrolls six, which is still probably two to three years away, minimum more, I would guess more like four or five, but, uh, the Elder Scrolls six was announced as of today, six years ago, six, we were talking about how crazy it was that the announcement trailer for cyberpunk 2077 was released in 2013. We were like, wow, it will have been seven years since the announcement by the time we actually get the game. Seven years, that's so long. And now we already are almost at that point with the Elder Scrolls Six. That's wild, that's wild. But that's just, that's just how it's going. I, I, I think with one thing, it's it's been a generally agreed upon thing that Companies don't want to have this big of a gap between announcement and release, even though they're currently dealing with it with a lot of games like in Elder Scrolls or something like that. They want to avoid that if they can. So I think PlayStation's hesitant to announce Naughty Dog's next project. They're hesitant to showcase Ghost of Tsushima 2 before it's ready. And I get that. 
I, I, I understand that. But I do think there's a general, there's a broad lull in the industry right now where there's like on Xbox's side, there's a lot of big stuff coming. Third party devs have some big stuff coming like Assassin's Creed and Star Wars, but there's not a whole lot coming from first party on PlayStation side, for example, that we know about. Like they, they're working on stuff, but we just don't know anything else about it. It's very, very open-ended. And maybe it's that they're just planning on coming out swinging for the fences like next year. And they're going to just blow everyone's minds with those games and stuff uh, with a PS5 Pro and with all that craziness that they'll have. But it feels weird that there's just nothing that we know about right now. 2025 could be the biggest year of gaming. Yeah, I, it's going to have, I think, the biggest number of blockbusters that we've had in a hot minute. 2023 was great because we had a lot of like critically acclaimed games. We had a lot of 10 out of 10s. But I think 2025 is going to be the year of big blockbuster games. Like that's going to be the story there. And I mean, I'm okay with it. It's We've also had a bit of a lull with with big epic um games like that so i'm, I'm down for it new 2018 yeah kind of like 2018 was exactly yeah live service delayed their development yeah uh, without a doubt a lot of these studios got tasked with making live service games and it has caused a lot of the production schedules to get kind of bloated <laughs> Took my thing!